Hi, my name is Kara Allen of Lifestyle by Kara Allen, an image consulting firm in the Washington, D.C. area. And this is my very first episode of Kicking It with Kara, your weekly go-to guide for entertainment, beauty, and lifestyle news. Today's post is called Commando Commandments. And this post was inspired by a birthday party gone wrong a few weeks ago that I attended. So my friend, let's call her Julia had her 22nd birthday party a few weeks back and all the girls were going to go out for a cool night on the town so I was meeting up with them at the Embassy Suites in DC where they were pre-gaming until I got there which was around 11, 11.30. When I arrived no one was in the party mood anymore <laughs> let's just say and Julia definitely did not want to go out but I convinced Amy and Sophia and Mary to still go out anyway. So we hopped into a cab and we went off to Park Nightclub, which is between, I think it's I and K on 14th Street. So on the way there, Amy was taking pre-gaming on the road, as we discovered, because she had a bottle of Fireball in her purse. Hmm. So as soon as we were getting out of the cab was when I figured out that Amy was with a bottle of Fireball, but she was missing something else. Namely, her lady pants, okay? <laughs> now, let's give a little background. This was in January, when it was cold, okay? Or at the end of February, something like that. And I'm thinking like, hmm, I don't think she had a coat on either, now that I remember. Anywho, when she got out of the cab, her lady parts did their very first unpaid appearance of the evening. And I was like, wow, that's more than I would have ever wanted to know about Amy, okay? But, be that as it may, we went on about our business, went on into the club, and Amy announced that she had to go to the ladies' room. So we were all at the bar just waiting, and about 10 or 15 minutes later, we figured out that Amy hadn't come back from the bathroom. So we went looking for her, and lo and behold, Amy was in the detox, because <laughs> somebody else figured out she had no business being in the club. So we took her out, and it was at that point, Sophia said, let's go get Amy something to eat. So we found a pizza place on 14th Street, and we headed off there in another cab. And as soon as we pulled up there, Amy's ladies, lady parts made their second appearance, unpaid, of the evening, as we were getting out of the cab to go to the pizza place. Now this is getting to be a problem, okay? Because every time, there's always some people trying to get the cab as soon as we get out, so... She had a nice little audience. And in the pizza place, she's getting a little volatile now, so Sophia at this point decided it was best for Amy to go back to the hotel. So as we were going out, she's running for the cab, and now her lady parts made their third unpaid appearance of the evening. I mean, this is getting to be problematic. So it was after this that I figured we need to have some commando commandments. Commando commandment number one. Your dress must pass the fingertip test, okay? If you're gonna be running around with sans underwear, you have to make sure that you your dress is long enough so that nobody's gonna see if you have to bend over or cough or, God forbid, pick up something because it's just not ladylike. We don't need to see all of that, okay? Maybe some of the guys would disagree with me, but come on, you know, it, is that really somebody you'd be interested in taking home to mama? Maybe not to mama. I guess maybe for the evening. But whatever. Okay, that's none of my business anyways. But just saying. You, really, let's not go there. Number two. You need to not be drunk. Let's just say. Because it's hard enough if you're already wearing a non-fingertip test dress and you're prancing around in your heels and you're drunk. That's just bad. Okay? It's just bad bad and someone's gonna have to drag you around and granted I'm four foot eleven and a half and Amy had a good five ten she was at least ten inches taller than me so I'm trying to drag her around when she's falling down and the hoo-ha is making appearances and waving and I was afraid the thing was gonna catch pneumonia because it was just cold as crap outside and the dress was so short just don't be drunk okay that's number two and for the third thing, have a good wing woman or wing man. Thank God I was there. Not that anyone else would have let her ha be hanging all out and everything else. But, you know, I'm the queen of 
let's keep it together. So, yes, you gotta have a good wing woman. I'll get off my soapbox for the evening, and that's all for this episode of Kicking It With Kara. Tune in next week for our online dating do's and don'ts. See you then.